Hi everybody, Quint Lear's new home sales dot com. Finally, you can run, you can hide, but you you can't. Wait a minute. Finally, I got you on the program, Will Duderstadt. Thanks so much for being on the program. Absolutely, Quinn. It's a pleasure. I've been watching your stuff for a long time, so this is long overdue. So look, I like what Will does because he's the kind of, um, what's that movie when you're, you're the guy, the, the, the puppet master, you're the digital puppet master Whoa. of the home of Whoa. the home building industry. Talk a little bit about what you did. You're a speaker, you're contributing, you're a thought leader. What's, what's big? What's happening now? You know, for me, content is huge, and I love talking about new ways to develop content, to distribute content, and more than anything else, to stand out today, you really need to add in emotional content. You have to really fight apathy and make people care about what it is that you do. As builders, we have a lot to really be happy about. These are joyful occasions. People are really excited to build new homes and to put their personal touch on it. So we have something that's really easy to market, we just need to do, to do a little better job. We need to do her a better job. Do her a better job. I love it. Hey. I might copyright that. Hey, do her a better job, everybody. Now, look, you wear a lot of different hats. You're doing speaking. Uh, tell me about the home builder you represent, what you spoke on at the home builder show. You're not, the interview's not over yet. You're shaking my hand. You're doing something big with Zillow. Let's talk about it all. Builder. Yeah, so I'm with MI Homes. We're headquartered in Columbus, Ohio, and we build in about uh, 15 divisions, uh, Texas, Florida, Chicago, the Midwest. So we're, we're really all over. I think we're the 14th largest builder, and I tell you, that's a lot of content to have to create. Thousands of homes, hundreds of communities. It's really quite, uh, quite invigorating to be able to be a part of such a large organization. You're, you're doing big things with MI Homes. You're one of the, the, the stars of the show here. You, you had a very very interesting, one of the best attended, most interesting programs. Talk about the throwdown, the, the big, the, the main event. It was, it was a huge event. Uh, Kevin Oakley, Dennis O'Neill, and myself took three really kind of polarizing topics and we debated them. And we really did it kind of like SNL style where we went to extremes. We didn't actually believe what we were arguing, but we wanted to illustrate that sometimes you have objections within your organization and you really need to see both sides of an argument before you can find the middle ground and come to a, a solution that makes sense for you and your company. Who won? I got to tell you, who won? I think I won them all. There were a few tears that were shed. Uh, seriously, I think uh, I, I don't think there's a winner. If the audience was able to walk away and just apply a little bit more critical thought, they're going to be the guys that win. Well, listen, you had great reviews. I, I would say there's win, win, win. I mean, you, Dennis, Kevin, the audience, the home building industry. Let's talk about... You're into drones. You're, you're into gardening. This is like the, the, my dream interview because I got so much cool stuff to talk about. You did a really cool um, um, a blog a little bit ago with Meredith about uh, gardening. Talk about that, guys. I thought you did some really insightful things. Well, thank you. I, I love my garden. I had about 40 tomato plants this past season. And it's a really, I think as a digital guy, it's nice to sometimes step away and do something very tactile and real that will exist even if the power goes out. Uh, like I said, as a digital guy, sometimes it's hard to, to feel what it is that you're doing. So that's a nice balance. And uh, in that particular article, I took some cues about lead generation from my garden, culminating really in this idea that you have to you have to weed every once in a while. You have to cut out the stuff that isn't working for you, that's sucking up resources, and that's okay. As marketers, we need to do a better job, and we need to apply our time and energy on the things that are going to yield some fruit. Almost forgot, um, a little side note, Pro Builder Magazine, 40 under 40. What did it mean to receive that um, and to be recognized at that level? Oh, man, a tremendous honor. I think the world of the team at Pro Builder. So to be able to sit alongside so many other fantastic individuals and end up on the cover of a, of a magazine I've read for years, truly, truly honored, incredibly touched. And thank you for remembering. Now, you're doing all these cool things, and you're kind of the star of the show tonight. <laughs> but who are some of the people, the mentors, the resources, could be anything, podcast, book, anybody that... that people that have really been um, spoken into your life? 
That's a great question because I think to be successful, you really need to surround yourself with people that inspire you. Uh, I'm incredibly grateful to Mike Lyon, who uh, was really the guy who got me involved in this show in the first place, continues to be an inspiration along with Kevin Oakley. Uh, Dennis O'Neill is a great friend. He's written a fantastic book. Uh, he continues to inspire me. This guy right here with all the work that he's doing on YouTube, I'm watching constantly. And then I like to look outside the industry for inspiration. Uh, companies like Zappos and Tesla and Apple are doing amazing things with content, and we can really integrate that into what we do as home builders. Tell me a book that, that's been really impactful in your life. Wow, putting me on the spot there. Other than Dennis's book, I would say this year I read a book called Vlog Like a Boss. Uh, a gal named Amy, who lives in Columbus, wrote that. And it's really an awesome guide to video, video marketing and crushing it on YouTube. And just to talk about uh, Dennis's book, Sales Actualization, based upon the Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. And I would agree that's a very insightful book. Um, you're, I mean, Zillow, you're on the, let, let's talk about Zillow. Come on, man. Zillow is an amazing company. These guys are standing right here giving me the stare down, but uh, I'm very proud to be part of their uh, group of advisors for new homes and new construction. Uh, they're really dedicated to the industry. They're doing a lot of fantastic things, and it's a partnership that just makes sense for a lot of home builders. You can be on Zillow and compete directly with resale homes in your market. What better opportunity do we have to try and attract leads and potential sales? Now, how many times have I contacted you about being on my program? Oh, approximately. Oh, probably just once. No, I'm kidding. It's been dozens. It's been dozens. Okay, so I want you on the program because Will's one of the best connected people in the industry. Now, watch. How do people get connected? Um, because a lot of people feel lost, and we want to people to feel far to the, part of the home building industry. That's part of the main benefit here. What are some of the tips that you've done to be connected, to make an impact, to become a speaker. Talk about that. You know, here's the deal. We get together as an organization once or twice a year, right, at a show like this. So social media means so much, whether it's YouTube or Facebook or Twitter. Have a personality. Uh, push some content and really engage in the conversation. I think I do it really because I'm inspired by so many people. I want to continue to be better. So I'm out there asking questions, answering questions, and trying to build relationships that are going to just push that ball forward. Don't be afraid to jump in the conversation. You know, good point. You know, one thing I see you do, you comment on stuff. And I mean, out of a you know, uh, let's say a thousand views, you're going to have two comments, three, and you're one of those people consistently. So, I mean, you get recognized through there. Any other tips? You know, everybody has an opinion and you should be proud of your opinion. Uh, the, the thing that we have as humans is this idea of critical thought and that over time our opinions can change. The only way you're going to solidify the, and get to the right answer is to engage with people, have conversations, have debates, and really challenge your own thought be okay changing your mind and continue to converse. You are um, always looking to the future. What, what, what do home builders need to know now in 2018? Man, that's a great question. There's so much on the horizon from VR and AR, but I really think this idea of personalized content is going to change the way we do business. Uh, if you look at uh, an email that you might get from YouTube, that email is specific to you, Quint, and it's recommendations just for you. There's not a human that sits down and decides that. It's a human that sat down and wrote a really great program to deliver recommendations to you. And we're going to be able to do that in the near future. It's going to change the way we market homes. You're crushing it at MI Homes. And I know you know you, you get a lot of the, the praise for this, that, but who are some of the unsung heroes, the people in the back offices, you know, making things happen that you know that aren't here, that aren't that you would like to give a shout out to anybody? You know, I have an amazing team at MI that I'm really proud to be able to work with, and those guys just crush it every single day. They're publishing a lot of the content, they're developing a lot of the content. And I think deep down behind anybody who is notable on, on YouTube or notable on Facebook, they have a team. And I've gotten to meet so many of those individuals. They are amazing and they're bright. And I think the moral of the story is behind every Quint or Will or Mike Lyon, there's a team of people that are just as engaging, just as intelligent, and it's worthwhile to have conversations with everyone whose path you cross. Last question, drones, talk about it. Drones are awesome, right? Uh, I took my Mavic up earlier in the day. I have a Phantom. Uh, if you have the opportunity to fly, do it. It's an experience. And uh, what, kind, what type of drone would you recommend? 
I, I would recommend the, the most inexpensive drone that you can to get started, and it's just going to climb from there. Listen, thanks for being on the program. I know you got a lot to going on. Proud to have Will Duderstadt on NewHomesales.com at the International Builders Show, Orlando, Florida. Keep on keeping on, my friend. You're making a great impact. Thanks, Quinn. I love what you're doing.